Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Shark and Sharker video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you're doing well. If you are unfamiliar with how this series works, we go into the dungeon, we try to make some money, we leave, we take all the items that we found and we try to sell them. We have a little timer going so you can see how long it takes to sell them. And at the end, we, you know, see how much money we made. Simple, simple enough. Now, I did a stream yesterday. Uh, it was like a almost nine, I think it was an eight and a half hour stream. I did something pretty cool, I think. And there's going to be a YouTube video about it soon, but if you want to see the whole thing, again, it's a long commitment. You can go check it out. I did what I called a Golden Key speedrun, where I just sat down on one stream, and I played until I managed to get a Golden Key, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, so if you're curious about that, you can go check out the stream. Uh, there's a VOD of it over on Twitch, but I will be making a, a edited video of it, but it'll take a little while because... It did take a pretty long time to make. Now, sorry. No more no more plugging. Today's video, I'm heading into the Goblin Caves with my fighter, a.k.a. Bush did 9-11. <laughs> um, and we're using a very budget build here. We're going for the Slayer dual wield arming sword lantern setup with a crossbow for ranged, bringing in some meds, and hopefully, hopefully we can just chill. One thing I just remembered, too, I do need to turn on VoIP. I had VoIP off for the the key thing. So let me turn that back on real quick. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Let's hop in there. Hopefully, hopefully this goes well. We're heading to the Goblin Caves. I should mention as well. I don't. I haven't played in the Goblin Caves much lately. I've been doing a lot of rogue gameplay in the crypts because it's so easy to be sneaky in there. And generally speaking, the crypt seems to have better loot. From my experience, especially going down to hell, obviously. But, uh, you know, Goblin Caves, less people. Maybe they'll be friendly, who knows. We can do some scouting out here, too. Hey, it's fun oh, we got a TV in here. Everyone. I can do that. I'm as friendly as long as you're friendly. Okay. Unless you he's, a, he's a TTV, so he can't lie to us legally. Oh, that is true. All of his all of his viewers will will leave and abandon him. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, this is so dumb. I need to do this. Shit. Oh shit. <laughs> He's smacking us. Oh, that was anyway. So, oh, we got a barbarian here. It looks pretty good. Oh, that barbarian's kitted. Okay. So we might be able to kill him. I'm not. I'm not sure. We're gonna we're gonna try. To, they, they all seem pretty nice for the most part. They might be friendly. We don't have to kill him if we don't have to. But I am ready to fight if if need be. We are a fighter now, right? Generally speaking, when it comes to 1v1 combat, I'd much rather I mean I'd rather be a geared rogue than a than a barely kitted fighter. But generally speaking, right now if you ask me, I think fighters are a little bit stronger than rogues in the 1v1. But uh hard to say. Hard hard to quantify that sort of stuff. So whatever. Let's head over here first. It's, it's outside the zone here. There's a, a man. Hey, you uh, friendly there? Hello, hi. No. I'm a friendly guy, hello. If you want, the room to the west has a healing shrine in it, the, the spider room. He's doing great. He's doing great. We do have a, a skeleton axe man, which is never fun to handle. There we go. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay. I'd like to check this, uh... Oops. I'd like to check this lion's head chest here. See if we can get that loot. Anyone else aggro? Yeah, this guy will aggro, I think, right? Come here. Come here, fucker. No. This warlock seems nice. He hasn't betrayed me yet. Who knows, though? 
Take these, cool. Oh, hello there, Mr. Barbarian. Are you friendly? Is he is he attacking you there, Warlock, or is he breaking he's breaking things? Okay, cool. Uh, Mr. Barbarian, I have a weapon for you. You might like. Mr. Mr. Barbarian, I have a I have a thing you might be able to use. Here, I don't know I don't know if you want that, but you, you know you can use it maybe. Oh, thank you. Good trade. Good trade. Oh, you don't want the axe? Okay, I'll take it back then, I guess. Not good? Oh, it's got pretty bad rolls, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's get going, boys. Okay, we're... We, we befriended the really good barbarian, which is a good thing for us. Because he's definitely the scariest guy in this in this game, I think. But he could betray us at any point, who knows. But he seems pretty friendly. He's got it, he's got it. Oh, he's fighting the, the, the uh, goblins over here, very cool. I'm gonna try to aggro the, uh, the shield goblin real quick. So we can get to the loot up here. Nice friendly game, huh? I, I say this pretty often. I don't I don't mind people, you know, teaming up in the games personally. I think it's a, you know, like most things, it's a part of the game that you have to, you know, understand as a thing, right? As long as as long as Voip exists pretty much, it's gonna happen a lot. And even without Voip, it was happening a little bit too. But especially, you know, with Voip being a part of the game. I mean, some people, you know, some people don't like it, obviously, which is fine. But, like, you know. The genie's, the genie's out of the bag on that one, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I think this is where the barbarian went, considering that this door has exploded. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are you saying something there, Mr. Warlock? Yeah, oh. Hello, Bard. Oh. Hmm. How are you doing, sir? I'll go past you. So far, so good. I'm a date where you get much loot right now, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Hmm. Got a lot of people. Everyone in this lobby is friendly, which is interesting. But it also means that portals are going to be at a premium here. As you can see, we have two portals right now. Pretty cool. Oh, we can make room for that, I think. Hold on. Can we? Yeah, hold on. Not the best thing. It'll probably be the first thing that we drop as soon as we get more space. For now, that's fine. I'm gonna hope that no one else really comes down here. I'll we'll be able to kind of just sit in the zone for a bit, maybe. Let's get let's get these goblins killed. There we go. Check the axe man. Nothing there. Really good. And one thing I'm really worried about. There's a room I want to go loot. It's that one right over there. You can't really see the, the pillars in the way. But I want to go loot that. But I'm worried about there being one of the super mages in there. The nightmare the nightmare variant goblin mages are, in my opinion, the probably top two scariest AI enemies in the game. Um, it's a nightmare. Uh, I guess they're called nightmare for a reason, huh? Anyway. Zone should be closing soon. I think everyone's more or less moved on from this room now at this point, which is good for us. So for it sounds like one person above us there. 
Hopefully it doesn't jump on top of us and kill us. That would be unfortunate. This is not a terrible helmet. That's a pretty good Viking helmet too, actually, I think. Uh, here's what we do. We do this. Grab both of them. And no reason to panic. I forgot where one of the portals is, but I know there's one over here. Where's the second one? Anywho. We'll open this. We'll open that right there. Is it over here? Where? How did I forget where it is? Over here somewhere? Also, it is a Nightmare Goblin in there, so fuck that place. We're just going to be a little bit greedy. Uh, Hold on. Can you make room for this somehow? Not really. Get a second wind. Plus one all on a ranger hat's not terrible, but it's not a super great roll. We'll just take these. Okay, let's get out of here. I genuinely... It's crazy. I've genuinely forgotten where the other portal is. I don't know how I've done this. I think my brain is maybe kind of mush or something. Let's pop these barrels open too before we go. Anything good in there? Leather hat? Well, I could wear that, can't I? Okay, it does nothing, but whatever. And here... We got here crystal ball and a torch okay we can go pretty pretty uneventful run there pretty boring i gotta admit but you know it's hard to be it's hard to be mean at least i find it hard to be mean when everyone else is so friendly you could have maybe done some murders but like ah you know come on why do you want to do that right now how do we actually end up doing here on loot pretty good we got some pretty high value collectibles here we got a little bit of candy too um the stiletto, actually, I didn't look at the stats on it. It's not a bad roll, especially if you're going for poison weapon, which I, I think has fallen out of favor when it comes to rogues, but it's still a purple stiletto with good stats on it, basically. It should be fine. The double axe is just vendor trash. Uh, the Viking helm looks pretty good. This actually looks like a really nice Viking helm. Plus nine magic resist and plus two physical damage. Both good and relevant modifiers for a barbarian. And uh, yeah, not bad. Not a bad hull. Let's sell the collectibles. Uh, that's all for that. And then we will try to sell the rare item. So I will, I'll set up the timer. One second. Boop, boop, boop. Please hold. Taking a while to open for some reason. There we go. Okay. And we will begin selling the items now so first thing i think would be pretty pretty good to sell will be the viking helm we can try to sell the double axe again i think it's vendor trash it'll it'll vendor for like 15 ish gold so you know i don't hate that we picked it up because we didn't have much else we could have picked up instead of it i don't think at least maybe we could have taken that ranger hood actually instead i'll put it out for 100 gold last call no one Tragic, okay. Well, here's what we'll do then. This is going to be a back-to-back, -back, which I don't usually do, but because the run was so short before, I think it's fine. Well, let's not vendor that, sorry. I'm going to vendor these. These are all pretty trash. And I'm going to hang on to the stiletto. And the Viking, and the Viking helmet. And we will deposit all this. Get rid of all that money there. And we'll put the explosive bottle here too, I suppose. And we'll do another run. We'll do a back to back here. So let me let me pause the record or the uh, the timer. And get rid of it for now. And let's let's get back into the uh, the caves here. Let's do a little scouting. And maybe this one we'll, we'll try to play a little bit more aggressively. That'd be fun, right? The first one we're pretty passive. Second one we're maybe a little bit more aggressive. 
I'm trying to see what this guy's got over here. He's looking, he's looking, got some armor, but he's got, he's got normal pants on, which is interesting. He's got a mace as well. Okay. Not too crazy. If you get the jump on him, we can take him. What's his, what's his PDR? With his shield out, it's about 50%. Okay. Luminous zeal. Pretty well geared. Hello. Okay. We're seeing some pretty strong boys right now. But I think no one here is looking super crazy. If we get the jump on them, I think we can kill most of these guys. So that's good. That's the nice thing about Slayer Fighter. It, 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 the plus five damage that you get from being Slayer is like a ton. And it allows you to just be able to kind of ambush someone and, and kill them before, hopefully before they can really react. Is the idea, so. All right. I'm also seeing not a ton of people here who are, are probably here to kill the cave troll. We might be able to get a free troll here too. I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about killing the troll. That was also another Slayer fighter, I'm pretty sure. He had the crossbow, he had the padded tunic. Looks like a Slayer fighter to me. But none of the, no, there's no, not many rogues. I don't, I don't think I saw any rogues. They're usually the number one class you see for uh, cave troll killing. I think we got pretty good odds at being able to go down to the cave troll if we spawn close to it. Which we have not. We have spawned almost as far away as you can spawn from it. But I, I do like this spawn. I am happy about spawning here. I forgot about these boots. These boots do suck. And we can't use these these boots though because they're, they're, they're plate as well. Forgot we are Slayer. Hmm... I'll stick with the heavy boots between that and the uh, light foots there. Okay, big spider killed. Anything cool? I need to take my axes more. Axes are so important for fighters. Oh, I can take these actually. Oh, I forgot I have, a, I have a crossbow. I can just shoot the bug. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, we're getting some lag right now. That is not good. I don't love that. I guess it takes two shots to kill the jar here. It does seem like two body shots on the spiders get a kill for us too, which is nice. Okay. I wanted to be a little bit more aggressive this run, but the spawn we got does not lend itself lend itself to being aggressive. Kind of out in the corner here, but I do I do like the spawn in general. Because, to, I mean, it's not the best spawn for this, but to our north, there is a really easy to kill uh, centipede with a healing shrine next to it. That's pretty sweet. Also important to note that four headshots on the, the red archers there will kill them. Uh, we can take this. I think it's worth the cost of taking this here. Like, it's worth the space, but... It's not, a, it's not the best blue rondel. Not bad, though. Hmm. You know what we should do? Do something like this here. Have all of our throwables on four. Oh, this guy. Almost got snagged on that, on that uh, torch there. There we go. Not too bad. For the fire trap there. We gotta be careful about that. Just barely outside the zone. I think there's a mage in here. Let's get our crossbow out for a second. Oh, I lied. Oh, there's a mage. Okay, well. Eh, okay, neat, neat. 
So a little bit more dodging. Okay, he's doing he's doing his move. Okay. That was not great. Like I said, though, there's a healing shrine up ahead. Now the question is, do we want to risk not healing now and get the healing shrine up ahead? I don't know. Cool. Much better axes. Something like that here, I think. I think we can risk it. There shouldn't be too much in between us and the healing shrine. Maybe like two goblins. Yeah. Come here, Mr. Axe Man. So the the new these axe guys? The Nightmare Axe Goblins can do a three attack move there, so you gotta be careful about that. If you did not know, now you know. They don't always do it, they mix it up quite a bit, but that one apparently really loved his, his triple attack. Hey, yeah, you know what? A little dicey, but we made it here. It wasn't even that dicey, actually. It was a little risky. We made it to the heal shrine. Didn't have to waste any supplies, which is always lovely. I do hear someone to our west. And the, the tricky thing about this area... Oh, is that it's hard to tell... When someone's approaching you here, because the, the stones... The stone pillar things, moving... Make it very hard to notice footsteps. Poison on the ground if we can. It's fine. pretty low. Usually the centipedes only do two uh, two runaways. I don't know if it's like a percent health thing. Usually at the second one they die. Okay, that's a pretty good ring. That's an amazing ring. Okay. Is this a unlocked chest down here? Let's check that real quick. I, let me down. Thank you. I've been poisoned by the centipede poison. A little bit of bullshit there, but that's fine. No big deal. You can take it. No biggie. What can I drop here, if anything? I saw some stuff on the ground, I think, right? We don't have a necklace. We can just take that. Not bad. Ah, oh, I didn't want to trigger the zombie. Oh, well. Or a gob or whatever you are. What are you? You're a mummy? Yeah, you're a mummy. Now, there's another chest in the uh, in the thing potentially in the in the pit down there. It's not really worth going to. I feel like let's top off here just in case. I heard a portal to our west somewhere. The problem is that I bet there's other players over there too. We got a lot of loot. I don't want to lose it. Hmm, this is already cleared out. Didn't miss a chest here. Mmm. The much better leather cap will take that for sure. And these riveted gloves, I don't know, they're maybe they may be worth something. Um, what can we drop? Yeah, I hear someone to our south over there, so let's head over this way. Oh, I see a warlock there. Is this already taken? Let's find out. It is not. There we go. Just like that, we are out. If you didn't know, by the way, there's a weird visual uh, bug with that extract now. It'll, no matter what, it'll show that the uh, the, the stones are down. Uh, whether or not it's been taken. So, I don't know if other people can take it. I'm curious. Let's see if we can see. Because there's some guys over there. There's like this warlock, who may be AFK, actually. He hasn't moved since we saw him before. And this is the guy who we heard to our south. So I'm curious, I just want to see real quick, 
And I'll just skip ahead if no one tries to take it. I want to see if one of them can take the, uh... If one of them can take the, uh, what's it called? Are you getting my leftovers here, bud? Anyway, I want to I wanna see if one of them can take the, uh... Oh, this guy's taking a, a portal here, too. Whatever. I want to see if one of them can take the stair extract. Even though the rocks have already, you know... Even though I've already taken it, because I wouldn't be shocked if the, uh... It's visually bugged, and I wouldn't be shocked if it's physically bugged as well, and anyone can take it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Now. This one... Oh, you know, these... I'm curious about these plate boots. Because they're not good plate boots, but they're not bad. They're green with... Oh, excuse me. They're green with plus one damage. Someone might want those for 50 gold. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let's sell the collectibles. Let's get those out of here. Got a lot of them on this run, but they weren't worth that much. We also got a lot of loose gold as well, so we made we made some decent money on this run as well. These rings I'm very interested in selling as well. They seem like we got pretty good drops on those. And, uh... Let's put these back in here. Oop, not you. Uh, we got the silver coins, which you can get rid of as well. Um... Although, I don't know how many we started with, actually. Nah, whatever. That's fine. This ring looks very good to me. Right? A ring with plus 9 armor and plus 1 all. And then plus 2 will for extra magic resist is not bad either. But the plus 1 all and plus 9 armor seem to be the main selling point there of this. This should be worth quite a bit. Although, the trousers are actually pretty good too. I didn't even look at the stats on these. That's pretty sick. Magic healing on the gloves should be good. And then a little, little extra magic damage on these gloves, also not bad. And then this leather cap is actually sick as hell. This is like a this is like a best in slot uh, Slayer Fighter hat right now, so that's pretty sweet. The be the necklace I don't think is worth too much. Let's get all these out of here, and uh, let's get off my off my character so I don't forget to try to sell them. Basically, <laughs> so I have done that once or twice in the past. So these, these heavy boots, I'm pretty confident, are just worthless. Although, I don't know. Maybe a cleric would want them. Who knows? Who knows? Let's, uh... We'll see what we can sell here. Let me get the timer back up. Boop. And then... Let us, once again, commence the trading. So. We got a lot more stuff to sell now, too. Uh, I'm really interested in, in this, in, well, th actually, this one has magic healing on it as well, which is not super important, but it's, you know, it's not bad. It is purple, though, is the issue, which is kind of funny, right? The fact that it's a purple ring means it'll be harder to sell. But this ring of resolve should be pretty good. So let's do the rings first. I think we can sell... I'm going to put it out there for 500G, and I'm going to put this one out there for 100 I'm going to sell them both together here. And see what we can get. There we go. Hello. Okay, 100 gold. That's the healing ring then. There we go. Not bad. Well, that one would actually be harder to sell. That's pretty sweet. Um, plus one all, plus nine armor. And listen, magic interaction speed. Oh. Magic interaction speed, not great. But what are you going to do, right? Oh, yeah, you know, 500 gold. I'll take that. Maybe it's worth even more, but, you know. I'm down for, I'm down for a quick 500 gold. That was, hey, listen. Good goblin cave run. Pretty good goblin cave run there, I gotta say. Now, what else can we... I mean, we can try to sell the pendant. I don't think it's worth very much. I'm gonna just put it out maybe for 100 gold. Try 100 gold. No one wants it for 100, I'll drop to 50. No one wants it for 50, I'll probably just keep it on my character. You know, it's a little bit of a moosey bonus, a little bit of, of uh, magic damage reduction with, with the will bonus, right? It's not terrible. But I'm not gonna spend all day trying to sell it. That's something that I need to be better about too, for sure. Is spending is spending like you know, twenty minutes trying to get like a fifty gold profit on on like a single item, 
when I can just sell it for 50 gold less and it'll sell right away. But this one for 50 gold is not even selling, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it. Right? Put that on here. Let's do the riveted gloves next. Uh I think we can maybe get hundred gold for this one. This one, a little bit trickier to sell. Maybe a maybe a warlock would want it as well. Maybe a rogue would want it. Who knows? But let's go. Let's go to the warlock keep here. It, riveted gloves are pretty much best in a slot for warlocks, I'm pretty sure, at this point. It seems like what they all want. And the fact that it is green means that you can take it into the normal rollers as well, right? Obviously, you can get a better roll. You can get a plus two magic healing roll, I believe, on gloves. But, you know, whatever. Anyone out there? Oh, there we go. See? Nice little hundred gold. Thank you, Keta Meadow. Um, now these ones. I'll I'll put out a hundred gold on these. I don't think they're gonna sell for a hundred though. Who knows? Maybe. Oh, look at that! Wow. I didn't think these sold for a hundred, but. Oh, hey, hello. Hi. You have 77 gold? That's that's good enough. Can you sell for this price? Sure. And you maybe add some sort of junk item that I can vendor as well. Or are you, are you straight up nothing else in there? Uh, those are, those are worth way more. I'll take the ore, please. Yeah, the, the, listen, the longbow, the longbow and the long sword are great there. That's just not even close to being a fair offer. I think this is fair. Because these we can probably just sell real quick for like 40 gold. I have no money for the trade. One sec. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay, I'll take 60. That's fine with me. Buddy, pl pleasure doing business. Hopefully, hopefully you get... <laughs> oh my god. Man, he was on his last dollar. That's uh, That's interesting. Okay. So, um, gotta sell this ore real quick. Let's go, let's go to the miscellaneous ore trade. Let's go down, oop. Let's go down to ruby silver ore. 100 G total for yours. Let's see if we can sell two ore for 50 gold. A nice, a nice quick trade. It's looking like I'm a little over over market value right now. Well, that's that's a hundred gold for now. We're, we're we're pretty close. Um, let's try let's try X two for forty gold. Anyone out there looking to buy some ruby silver? That's not worth it. We could maybe we could maybe buy three ore, turn it into an ingot, and then trade that. It might be a little bit easier to trade. How much can we vendor this for? Because I think cobalt you can't vendor for some reason, but I believe this you can. Six gold. Oh, that's not that good. Um, okay. We we'll have to settle for fifty though. It's so interesting, right? We had the we had the riveted gloves that were green that sold for a hundred, but these are purple. But they only have one relevant modifier for Warlocks, and they're not even that good of a... Like, you know, the other rolls are, are trash. Right? The, the the relevant roll is a low roll. So because of that, and because it's purple, you can't bring it into the normal dungeons, so it's worth it's not worth bringing into the high roller dungeons because it's not good enough for them. And so you end up in this weird, like, purgatory for, like, kind of okay purples that are still not worth much. It's very interesting to me, at least. Little extra, like, like, here's the thing, too. 
right? When you take into account the move speed bonus, these like have like somewhere closer to I think like, you know, plus plus six or plus seven or or or, or total move speed of seven, right? With the with the percent bonus, um, I think if these just said plus two move speed on them instead, they'd probably sell like pretty fast for a hundred, but whatever. Fifty G, last call. Plus one heal. There we go. 50 gold. It's worth it for sure. Really? You didn't want it for 50? Last call for real. Interesting, right? Purple boots plus one heal. No one wants to bring them to high roller. Can't bring them to low roller. There we go. Okay. We found someone. It's good for like a budget high roller build, right? Which is a thing you can definitely do. I do it all the time. But not, not many people are interested in that. They either want really good gear for high roller or they want like good gear for normals. They don't want bad gear for high rollers, so... What are you gonna do? I forgot, I gotta sell these shoes as well. Shoes, forgot about those. Put those in here now that we have space for it. Um, let's head to the fighters. Let, let's look up leather caps here. This is like a, again, this is like a best in slot leather cap for normal dungeons. I'm gonna say I'm gonna try 500 gold. No one else is even trying to sell leather cap right now. Oh, look at that! See, 500 gold for my my sick Slayer hat. 400. Can you meet me in the middle? 450. Oh, 450. Sounds like they're going to meet me in the middle. Oh, we're at 300. 354. 435. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I, I'm, I'm not that surprised because I knew it was a pretty good hat, but it is a pretty sick hat. So. You know, there is, I guess, you know what? There is something to be said about, like, best in slot blue items still being worth quite a bit. Definitely, this is definitely worth more than it was before, right? This hat, pre pre normal roller changes, this hat's probably somewhere in like the, I don't know, the 150, 200 range. That's kind of interesting. Something to keep an eye out for, for sure. Also, I've just realized I got to go do something. So I'm actually going to pause the video real quick. I'll be back. I'll be back in a little bit. Don't worry. But for you, it'll be a moment. I'll be right back. Let me pause the timer too. Okay, hello. <laughs> I mean, for you, for you, it was a second. For me, it's been a little while. But hi, I'm back. Let's. Uh, I uh, man. Okay, let's get back to what we were selling here. Uh, I think the big thing is the uh, the pants. That should be a pretty big item. Everything else here looking pretty junky. But I think we can get a pretty good deal for these pants here. So let's. My first instinct is maybe either rogues or barbarians for these. Let's go rogues first. Mm. Let's let's put out a three hundred gold offer on these on these pretty, not bad pants. Oh, look at that! Three hundred gold, man. I forgot the, I forgot the timer. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Add like an extra minute. Add like an extra minute here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Three hundred gold, maybe a little undersold there. I think that's a fair price for them. And then what else do we have to sell? We have these plate boots. I think there's a pretty decent chance we can maybe sell these plate boots for something. Anyone want my hood for 50? 
real quick. A real quick swing by here. Anyone? Nope. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. 50G last call before vendor. No. Oh, oh, there we go. We got one. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's, an, it's something that I don't do very often because it's not conducive to recording a video. But a lot of times, you are just better off. You know, if an item's not selling, just step away, come back for a bit, or, or, or come back in a bit, and the item there's a good chance it'll sell for the price you're trying to get it. Right? You know. You know. There's only so many people out there who are trying to buy a specific type of item. And sometimes the item you're trying to sell, there's just no buyers for, right? So, not that weird. Oh, I, I love this, by the way. This I love. Three items, 100 gold each, or 300 for all. It's like, <laughs> listen, if you're doing 300, if you're, if you're doing a, a bundle price, you gotta, you gotta offer a little bit less, right? I guess you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. But, like, you know, you're just doing the math for me at that point, which I don't need. Okay, I hate to do this. 50 gold on my purple stiletto, last call. That's got to sell, right? Are stilettos really so bad at this point that a, 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 a plus one all purple stiletto can't sell for 50 gold? What has happened to the economy? There we go, jeez. Crazy. Eh, whatever. If we were more patient, we could sell it for more, but I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to end the video here, I think. So let me... Sell this. I'm going to hang on to the, the Viking Helm, I think. That one I don't want to give up quite just yet. We got this. We got this. Pretty good video overall. I don't know, I don't know how much money we started with at the, at the start of this, but it wasn't very much. We were, we were kind of like... Uh, at, you know, we had very low funds. I'm pretty sure we were, like, in, like, the 200s in gold. And now we're, like, 2,000 gold. So, you know, not too shabby, not too shabby. Let me pause the timer two here. Uh, hey, thanks for hanging. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And, uh, hopefully I will see you for the next one. Goodbye.